if you take a piece of rope and we tie a knot and glue the ends together to where they're permanently sealed, so for example, this knot here, the question is how can you tell when two knots are the same? So you and I both tied a knot, are these the same? But what knot theory does is it provides a series of tools and techniques that we can use to determine whether two knots are the same. We construct so-called uh, knot invariants where I take this knot, we can, you know, on our piece of paper we can draw a picture of this knot and by looking at the diagram I can perform a calculation which will produce a polynomial. So just like a normal polynomial like you see in algebra class, so it doesn't matter how I wiggle or move this knot around, the polynomial that I get is always going to be the same. Now this knot and this knot are both going to have their own polynomials and if those polynomials are not equal, these knots aren't the same. Where did this problem come from? Why on earth did people start thinking about knots? You might imagine it's an interesting curiosity to sort of tell whether two knots are the same, but knot theory is one of our very basic tools in understanding surfaces and their properties. But not only do we see this in theoretical physics, there's also applications to DNA. You can imagine when you have polymers where they're getting knotted up, understanding properties of these knots becomes uh, really important.